Well, I'm just gonna check how long my range with this thing is. I have a range range of 320 long range and then 80 up oh, yeah, and range. I'll have my bow out, which would be a good idea. Uh -huh. Navarro will wait patiently with Thorin. Probably like moving up a bit as well, but only into like mm. the safe distance. Yeah, like they can't what? possibly see us from here. That'd be as impossible. you, uh, as Simri and Reaver move closer, um, they do realize that the thickets are indeed very thick around this ca uh, cavern, and the uh, goblins that you saw moving uh, around from a distance seem to have sort of moved around a little bit in the thicket as well. You, you, uh, you can't really spot them at long at long range anymore. Uh, perhaps it was the height advantage before that also helped you out a bit. But here it is sort of a little bit, a little bit more shadowy. Uh, the vegetation is a bit more thick, and you think that you will probably need to go closer to to properly take a take a look at this. Oh. Well, I guess we'll wave the others closer as well. Don't want to go too close without having backup. Okay. But, uh, I suppose then we'll proceed somewhat. Yeah. Okay. You can copy so your tokens. If the others are coming, we will try to basically stick to the side of them. Try to stay hidden, but let them be in front. Because if this, you know, if you can't hide, then at least there's someone be more obvious than you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to be stealthy as well. So I can also inform you that uh, you can, uh, in this game, take a what's called a short rest, which is usually that you rest for an hour, eat, drink, and relax, read, and tend to wounds. While you do this, you can spend uh, one or more of your hit die to uh, uh, to regain some HP if you're hurt. Can't wait an hour while our father is captured. Okie doke. I don't need uh, those hit points I'm missing anyway. Navarro mm. tends to mm. agree. Actually, let me just move you over here because I don't want you to break the layers. Hopefully this will work now. <laughs> Otherwise, there will be some cursing from my part. Where are we going? Uh, don't worry about that. <laughs> to the black hole of oblivion. <laughs> yeah. To the darkness. To the center of the earth. That's Lost where he's in gone. time and space. Load the map. Pit of despair. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh... Mm. The Tomb of Horrors, to floor <laughs> one. Welcome! Floor one. <laughs> floor one out of 200. Entrance one. Fools. The Fool's Gate. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do that. And... And hopefully you can now switch maps. Otherwise, I will enforce you. To Cragmore the hideout? Yes, go okay. to the Cragmore hideout. Well, I'm noting. Yeah. Oh god, it's a uh, like 12 meg image. 12 meg is like no megs. It's gonna what be do you guys like think the Cragmore is. <laughs> it's it's gonna be the Goblin like a Boss. <laughs> <laughs> Land shark. Earth God of the Goblins. Earth God of the Goblins, yeah. yeah. It, it oh. strangely looks like... You know like this is going to be a Mega Dungeon, right? It's just... No one just <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. It's 12 Meg of Mega Dungeon. 12 floors. 12 Mega Dungeon. Well, this seems to be working, although your, vis your range is kind of low. Oh well, that'll work once we get going here, I think. Mm -hmm. I have 120. It's, it's dark after all. like that. If it's dark, well, I, I can see 320. I haven't loaded yet. I mean, your then vision range seems to be short. Oh. oh. Well, damn to be my, my ranged range when I can't see. <laughs> well, it is a cave, you know, so it's very foggy here currently. Do Dragonborn have um, any dark vision or anything? No. Um, can no. I can I zoom out here and... Oh, no, it's all just black. Ah, finally. Uh, Let me center you. Loaded. I'm still loading. Oh god, 100% though. So. Oh, yeah. oh hey. everything's black, yeah. yeah. So, oh, someone yeah. already put me here. That is real small. 
Oh, goodness. Somebody already... I guess oh. I'll see it at some point, maybe. I, oh. I only see me and... and I see uh, River Farrah. and Zimri, but I don't see any... I don't see any map. Am I supposed to see a map? Yes, you're supposed to see a map. Does I no one else see a map? I, I see, see it. Oh, I can't see the map. I'll try to disconnect and connect again. I can see the map. I, I can That's see... Sometimes. Like a river. Mm-hmm. There is a river there. And some... Uh, some, like grassland-ish, and then like a forest, and then there's some Oh, you're there. down there! I couldn't see you guys from all the <laughs> way up here. <laughs> Wait, yeah, it's, right? it's so dark. I don't, I can't oh, see... We really should have light, honestly, if we're going to cave. I can't see past I... here, so... That's supposed... You're not supposed yeah. to see past there. Yeah, so I can't even <laughs> see... Where, you yeah, know, alright, cool. Goblins see in the dark? Uh, uh yes. They have dark vision. It's oh, all good. I, I have dark vision. It's all fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, we'll wait for you out here. <laughs> Scream if you die. Oh no. Yeah. Sun got be with Thorin you. Thorin left me. I don't... Oh. No, I just... Did you have a torch? Uh, oh! Over there. Oh. Okay, yeah. alright. Oh, yeah, are we yeah, meant to be up it's there? Loading the, it's loading the map again. So it probably didn't load... load. The first time. Uh, uh, are we all meant to be up there, or like foreign and no? Navarro no, you were down in here? the corner because you were okay. further back. That's, that's why I put you in the corner. Okay, all right. Oh, you were hiding. Oh, You're being this, hit this and stealthy. Just oh, you so were stomping through the forest. Mm-hmm. It's just oh, this vision is so tiny. I'm so confused. Why didn't Dwarf Dad ever buy enough cake? <laughs> You know, the little dragon guy was like, well, that's dwarves, you know, always tight on the money. And we are like, oh. <laughs> Goodbye, cake, with your allowance. I never got enough allowance. Oh. Do you know what an elven silk dress costs nowadays? <laughs> <laughs> you know how many electrums I had to pay for that? Astral diamonds. Is that, the, is that the still thing here? Yes, I do oh. think astral diamonds still exist, but they like you, one million gold. Yeah, sure. you don't really pay with them much. Uh, okay, yeah, I only see the two of us. All right. Okay. Everyone sees the map? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then, then we'll press on and hope that all the layers work. I think they do, but we'll see. It's an adventure for me as well. Now. Uh, you have snuck up along the uh, the cave entrance here. Uh, the um, water flows, and sort of the cave entrance is basically just over here. You think uh, you saw the uh, goblins move in the thicket uh, to the east of where you're currently standing, on the other side of the stream. Hmm. What, like over here? Can I yeah, kind of like over there. Mm -hmm. But I can't see them now. No. Can I take a look and see if I can see them now? Or is that... Uh, uh, just... Sure. You can do a perception check. Because I will. I'll, I'll do it. Oh, I'll go 20. You see everything! Uh, yes, no, yeah, you definitely spot them. They seem to be... Uh, you actually hear what sounds like a bit of a fight going on or an argument. Um... It's, it doesn't seem to be that serious, although it is definitely heated, and it's coming from, well, basically uh, 40 feet or so away uh, to the southeast, behind a, a thick outcropping of thickets. And you can definitely see two goblins moving around there. They seem to be arguing over something. Hmm. So they're pretty preoccupied then. Yes. Uh, would I have, like, advantage if I shot one of them? Uh, yes, you don't think you can really, like, shoot. The thing is, though, shooting into the thicket like this, you would probably have a disadvantage from it. Oh. Because they're very difficult to see. Or at least they would have three-quarters so, cover. So, so I, can, I can try to move a little closer, then, perhaps. Yes, you could. But I can see where they are. Maybe there's, like, a secret entrance or something, too. So down here, you say. Mm -hmm. oh my God, the world is so black. Yes, it's, I know. I don't, I'll just I don't make know. sure not to step in the stream. Mm -hmm. Simri will 
keep a close pace behind you. Just All right. Wall. Yes, the uh, you could probably be there to sort of oh. see around the thicket a little bit, and uh, and yeah, you do see uh, you do see a goblin there, and he seems to be uh, arguing with another goblin. Uh, there is a jar on the on the ground be- between them, and they seem to be arguing over the jar. Well, uh, sure, he's pretty point blank. Uh, can you not see his like his family? Like... I mean, again, your your token seems to have a very limited vision range, and I don't really know how to. What about a uh, light source? Maybe. Mm. I, I tried that. Yeah, didn't work. Must be like a. I don't know. I don't know. It's if, weird. If you set if you set the vision to off, the vision blocking layers will still work, but we our our sight won't be limited. Where because but I'd want you to be limited when you're in the cave though. Okay. That's the the awkward thing here. Um uh I could okay, let, why do I put the uh, where do I put the side to off? Uh you can do it on the tokens, right? No, then you can't see anything. Oh okay. I won't do that then. <laughs> uh, uh what you... under map vision and then off. Map Vision. I'll, I'll zoom in really far just in case. I can see. Oh my god, hey. I can see. I the light. Ah. I can see something. I can see, I can there's see. a little box showing what my character can actually see. Huh. Well, you know, <laughs> if yeah. he had, if you could only see ten feet. Uh huh. All right, I can't really see more than that one goblin though. Oh, let direction. me let me do like that. Okay. For there we go. Still only one. Maybe the other one is invisible. Here we go. All right. Uh, he will like do a, you know, like two of these fingers, and then that way, and then he'll take his crossbow, and then, uh, I guess, shoot one of them. Okay. Okay. You will have an advantage. Okay. I'll just shoot the one nearest here. Uh, yeah. So I guess I guess that's just how that works. So 16, 13 damage. Uh, yeah, no, that that is a hit. Sure. 13 damage. The goblin goes down, being shot in the back. And the other goblin looks down at him very triumphantly. Same reason. Reload. Right. reloads. <laughs> Same Ah. Uh. Can can I see the other goblin from here? Yes. Then then I'll shoot at him. Oh. That is a hit. That's sad. If really? You have advantage. Oh yeah I. But oh okay. Cool. Advantage is second die. Well, the nice. goblins seem to have uh, crouched down to pick up oh. the jar in some sort of victory celebration, but then an arrow hits him as well, and he sort of stumbles back, like, oh, oh, oh. and uh, we'll go to initiative here, mm-hmm. including us all the way over here. <laughs> no, no, you're still too far off. Oh. You may do it. Yes. Okay. It is Simri. I'll sh- shoot him again. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay. Combat is over. <laughs> uh, oh, you know, Simri's gonna hold. Do 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 like. Let's do a fi- to Put his fist out. To, like do a fist bump. Piva just sort of looks at it, eyes growing a little wider. This is too much social interaction for him. <laughs> this is sort of awkwardly like flat hand, like like like. Like pat her fist, like he doesn't really know what to do. Awkwardly, like sort of, you know, like grab, grab it, and then look, look at, look at Zimri sweating a little bit, and then he'll sort of look, look to the goblins, and then Zimri's like, look like I'm trying to hit you. Quietly moving to like look at the jar. Yes, the jar is a glass jar. Uh, it has a metal lid. And it seems to be filled with something. Like what? 
What well, is it? Well, upon closer inspection, uh, Reevar realizes that the jar is filled with uh, with uh, Father Gundren's favorite snack, pickled onions. Yeah. Are you serious? Pickled onions? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well... I will pick up the glass, I suppose. <laughs> is there anything else in this little clearing, or or, or off here, or? Uh, you can move. Uh, you can move and take a look. I just can't see very far, so. That's right. The darkness. There is. There seems to be nothing. Yep. Uh, there seems to, uh, upon closer inspection, there seems to be some sort of a uh, like a guard post. There's like a a pile of rags where you would imagine a goblin could sit and rest. Um, but apart from that, there's not much here. Sure. I'll mm. move, move back up, looking for his siblings, who are now gone. The eternal darkness. Ah. She'll, she'll move up to you, basically, with the jar. Like, handing to whoever has, like, who usually... Like, who, who carries a lot of stuff? Or who can carry a lot of stuff? Uh, Probably foreign. I'll hand it to yeah. her foreign. Florin has a large backpack. Just, uh, the guards were fighting over this. We uh, finished them both. We should be able to enter the cave without being discovered now. Mm. Father will be grumpy with all the snacks. We should hurry. <laughs> Navara totally yeah. agrees. We should totally go. Well, need some sort of light. It looks very dark in there. Navara kind of waves it off like bah, who needs lights Four rounds he, looks, uh, he, he doesn't want a confrontation so he'll just go <laughs> you know what Simri takes out a torch and lights it okay like, right or we'll continue it's... holding a shield and a swimmer because he only has two hands well I'm gonna <laughs> just drop it when I yeah, Navar is still holding a shield but her long sword is sheathed at the moment Okay, well, uh, yeah. Initiative, go. <laughs> yeah. No, not not quite. We look well, up. Well, you look up into the gloomy cave, um, and boy, is it dark in here. Uh, the stream seems to be quite. Um, it's not that wide, but it's fairly deep. And uh, standing in it, it definitely would reach you to uh, to your to your midriff, basically, Ooh. maybe a bit higher higher up. And it's actually quite fast as well. There's a lot of pressure in it, so to speak. Hmm. It's also very cool, uh, mountain water, uh, and it does afford a lot of noise. There's a lot of like watery, f like flowy sounds inside this cave. It's echoing all around, and you think it's probably pretty difficult to hear things inside this cave, mm -hmm. unless it is. Quite next to you. Mm. Uh, to the right, you see a set of uh, almost roughly carved stone uh, staircases uh, leading to the east. The water seems to be flowing, uh, like coming from north. Mm -hmm. mm. I guess we will just carry on in slightly I guess you Try could yes not, not staying in the water because that that looks fast and dangerous to be in as you move here a snarl can be heard next to you yeah as you look inside a cave and see well uh, you see a f three pair of eyes glittering in the dark I mean uh, I've got dark vision so I can see 60 feet all right. Well, in that me. case, uh, you see these uh. looking at you. Uh, you also see that a wolf seems to be chained onto the pillar in the middle there. And when they see you, they lunge forward uh, with howling snarls trying to bite at you. But the chain sort of janks them back, uh, even though they strain mightily against it. Mm. Hmm. Navar frowns, and then looks to the, uh, looks behind her and says, "There's uh." What did you find, Navarro? 
There's there's wolves chained to a post, and uh, they they they're not happy. Not happy little doggies. Nope. Okay, oh. then then kill them so we can get further. I mean, you hear a uh, groan from one of the chains as it seemed to be <sighs> bending under the pressure of the of the wolves. Navar draws her sword and says, uh, uh, one of the chains is breaking. One of the chains is breaking. Then, then, then move so I can go in and shoot them. Steps to the side. And, uh, <laughs> move to initiative. Oh, I don't get a, I don't get a surprise. Uh, no, they're not surprised. No, no, do I, don't I just get one because I move up and shoot? Uh, no, you would. Move so I, I. Oh, I'm <laughs> Maybe you can have that roll as your first attack. Sure, can you I? can have that roll as your first attack. Thank you. Hey, Vara goes first. Woo! Out of the PCs. Yeah, my first initiative is great. Now they're just all. Oof. <laughs> uh, okay, well, this wolf has a bit of leeway on his chain, and he will lunge up here, trying mightily to bite, and as he slavers. Uh, going for the first target he he saw, which was Naivara. Mm -hmm. That Oof. hits. Jesus. That is a 21 for 6 damage. Uh, and you would need to do a DC 11 strength saving throw. Or fall prone as he drags you down, or tries to at least. Strength. Alright. Oh god. That is a failure. You are prone. Prone. As the... Uh, Prune. Yet. Okay. Sure. Uh, as the uh, the wolf seems very happy with the damage he caused. Hmm. I'm Um. Okay. Well. Um. She will stand up, which uh, equals half of my movement speed. Uh, as I'm reading this now. So, mm -hmm. uh, shoot. Press the button. <laughs> Alright, stand up for prone. Yep. Um, as a bonus action, she will healing word herself. Okay. Um, which is... Seven. She almost yep. fully heals me. And then, as her action, she will swing at him. At uh, this wolfie. Oh, come on. Yeah? That's a miss. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, that shall end her turn. Right. Wolf 1 will try to strain against his chains to see if he can break free. Uh, no, he does not break free. Uh, but he's trying, and the chain is certainly groaning under the under the stress of it. Wolf 2, slightly off in the darkness, will try to do the same. And he certainly succeeds and comes barreling out of the darkness uh, to go for... Uh, well, Nivara... Uh, mm, mm. Yeah, he'll go for Nivara. And miss. Yep. Simri. Well, Simri will shoot the wolf free with yeah. the attack guy. And what was the damage from that attack? I got it. It was seven. Okay. Yeah, take that. Um. Can. <laughs> Because uh, I, I have a, um, a cantrip that is called Vicious Mockery, and it says that uh, the target does not have to understand me. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Is it a bonus action to cast? Um, how do I know that? It's it should... casting time. Yeah, One action. Thing. Yeah, then yeah. you yeah. just use your action to shoot the wolf. Oh, okay. Then never mind. Um. 
It might also not work on things that have too low intelligence. Well, that's what I was w w wondering anyway. Like... Uh, the wolf would, in that case, probably be too stupid to... Um, it doesn't say... Um, yeah, though it need not understand you, so it doesn't say anything about being uh, too low of a intelligence score. Understand, I take it, it's probably over the language barriers, but if it's too stupid to understand language, that yeah, might be... Yeah, but in, um, in Hideous Laughter, it states a creature within, uh, with an intelligence oh. score of four or less isn't infected. So it should It's magic state. insults, I guess, to maybe the wolf. It sounds like someone's calling it a... Yeah. <laughs> puppy, I don't know. Someone, somebody's urinating on it. Yeah, it says soft enchantments, so... You, uh, you hear the commotion. All right, Thorin will move up to see what's up and see wolves. In, in All the wolves. Yes. He, he, he can't get there. Uh, yeah, but I I didn't want two attack of opportunities. Yeah. He'll uh, go here and make sure that nothing mean comes from the north. Okay. So you probably can't strike through the wall. Uh, no, you, I, you probably can't. No, you can't strike through there. All right, that'll be that, I guess. Is there anything I probably. can do with my action? I, I, I'll dodge. Okay. Take they a defensive have stance. Cover there, but. Uh, uh, yes, they would have cover. That's still better than than not. I'll shoot at uh, wolf two, I think. Okay. I will have a minus two. Uh, so let's see if that works. Fifteen. That is a hit. All right. Let's shoot it. Using the distraction of uh, Ivara to to get a good hit. And it is a very good hit. The wolf seems like a stiff wind could probably kill him at this point. Then uh, I will click something. Okay. Well, uh, Wolf Three is thrilled what was happening there, and now he's really pissed. So he will bite once again at Nymara. Uh Hit for okay. six damage, Fuck. and another DC eleven strength saving throw. These rolls, man. They're rolling really well currently. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Uh, you're not drag prone. Fuck. Nymara. Um, you know, she will, she's not feeling great, so she will disengage. Yeah. As I action and move there, and let me just check my spells. Mm. Okay, yeah. Uh, nope, that's cool. That's it. Uh, wolf 1 will try again. Mm, okay, yes. The chain breaks and he lunges forward. He goes here. Which is a tax opportunity from oh, yeah. uh, Simri and Foreign. Even with a bow? Yeah, can you? Uh, is it, is no. it from Foreign though? If it was, he was not threatening this square. Do you? Th uh, is it for moving into he, one instead? Uh, I will say he, he form will get one. It's he comes like through here, so he can see. Okay. He gets one. Uh, if right. you have a bow, you can't get an attack opportunity. Sadly. It is the most amazing damage I've ever rolled. All right. Oops. Uh, he was supposed to attack there. Uh, let me change his HP four, and he will bite. Uh, he will bite at four in for that, and miss. Ooh. Good. Ooh. <laughs> uh, wolf two is going to bite at Simri. Oh, wolf two. Fourteen. So nope. Okay. Then that's it for him. Do I have any negative effects for using a bow this close? You have yes. disadvantage. It means you roll, basically it rolls two dice and you get the worst one. 
Yep. You know, I'll I'll drop my bow and draw my uh, short sword. Sure. Um, I can still attack, right? Yes. And I'll attack uh, wolf three. Yep. Uh, yes, yes, that uh, obliterates him. Yay! Crit. Twelve yes. damage. You do, in fact, hit it in your face. <laughs> sure do. I just hope that if I wrote that, it wouldn't say the weapon note. I hope it would just say in your face instead, but it didn't. Mm -hmm. The font could no. be a bit nicer instead of the sort of blue. Yeah, but, you know. Yeah. Well, what can you do? The wolf is very dead. Good. Oh yeah, I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> and turn the crow. All right, Thorin stops dodging and yep. faces his foe mm. with a slight frown, since he has to attack this poor beast that was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Just strike at it regardless, because it's standing in his way. And you do have advantage on it currently, because you are flanking with Simri. Oh, advantage would be an 18 then. Yes, that is a hit. Thunk. Oof. The wolf goes down. Beautiful. Uh, I can move inside of this guy's friend area, so don't, I'll move here. Please don't. No? <laughs> okay. You give me Looks penalties like... to hit. Oh, that's true. All right. Let's give give my second can... favorite brother a good hit, good hit here. Aww. Over here and uh, try to shoot the, uh, the wolf in the face. Oof, that's pretty bad. That is uh, that is bad. Not a miss. That's a miss. That yep. of the old things. Well, I can step back now because you know that's the, that's the rules. And I will turn. Nagora. All right. Um, uh, she will sheath her sword as a free action. And um, with her now free hand, we'll cast uh. Sacred Flame. So he needs to make a DC 13 dex saving throw. Okay. Or we'll take damage. But yeah. He fails. He fails. He takes 1d8 damage and only 3. Oh, well, that is enough. To kill him. Down he goes and battle is yeah. over. Oof. And the last Brief. vestiges of the fight echoes out into the cavern, and all you hear is the very loud noise of flowing water around you. Get out mm. of the water. It is very cold. Yeah, Nightmare, you should probably get out of the water when you're hurt. Do you have the means to heal yourself? Uh, no, I, I don't think I can... I, I could get another uh, magical healing off. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit, I'm a bit tired. She kind of slowly walks in. Uh, well, this place can't be that big, right? What's in here? What, what's this over here? Uh, since well, Simri kneels over. Oh, you know, he puts a hand on her shoulder and uses healing ward on her. Cool. Uh, well, inside is a dank chamber. Uh, you you do see a narrowing of the uh, of the cave here. Um, it narrows to a steep fissure, and oh, and um, you um, do you think you hear something coming from it, like a a. Um, a, a snoring sound seems to be coming from this, uh, from the other end of this this thin fissure. You think that you might be able to squeeze through it uh, if you wanted. I look through it first. 
Uh, you could crawl up and sort of try to peer through, yes? Yeah, I'll do that. Having spent plenty of night with our adoptive father, does it sound like a dwarven snoring by chance? Uh, no. No, it does not. Perhaps we should not wake whatever is sleeping then. Like crawl up here too. You can crawl Do up there. Have to roll yeah. anything, or can I... no? You can unless you try to go through. You can't really. I can't. Can't. Yeah, there isn't. You sort of try to peek in. You don't see too much. Um, you see parts of a cave. You think you might hear the snoring coming from the south of the Take cave. Take a sniff towards the south. What does it, it smell like? It smells kind of bad in there. It smells like burnt meat. Like failed cooking, it smells like poop, and uh, it smells like decay from in there. Huh. Well, that's. Uh, if he could squeeze through, then any prisoner could squeeze through, through too. He's pretty sure. Yeah. So it's probably not a prison cell. Um, which means that whatever is in there is probably hostile. So he'll look at the others as he as he digs sort of quietly digs a hand into his backpack. I mean, whatever sleeps there is probably sleeping pretty heavily. Uh, yes, uh, very heavy snores currently. Okay. Well, can he can he quietly try to move through? Or uh, yes, yes, he could. Uh, first, uh, first be... I'd like to check if there's any like traps or some dumb thing that's going to ruin my. Uh... <laughs> Uh, yes, you, you can do a perception check. That's going to ruin my, my thing. There's nothing about rolling these, like, uh, hidden in this? Um, There isn't. In the macros, you can always roll a secret, I suppose. Um, well, as far as you can discern, there isn't any trap on this. Okay. Well, squeeze. God, I can't do it because there's not I, enough. I, I'll light. do it. I would like a dexterity check, though, as you try to squeeze through here. Any special cut? Oh, that's not uh, what If you have something, a skill that would help you here, uh, I'm always like acrobatics, athletics might work. Uh, uh, I, ha I have, uh, I have, uh, yeah, acrobatics could work for dexterity. Athletics is strength based. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'll, I'll do acrobatics then. Okay. Which Sounds good. Just for me, just my dexterity. So, uh... All right, you get like halfway through, and then you're like, uh oh. You sort of breathe it out or in, in the sort of wrong direction, and you're kind of stuck. Uh, I would like another dexterity check. Do you want me to push? Another dexterity check. All right. Could push you. Oh. It's pretty uh, bad. You are very stuck. <laughs> uh, you realize that you cannot move from this place, and perhaps a little bit of panic sets in. We're gonna have He'll to stick his out. arm towards you two and like wiggle it for you to pull him back, basically, thinking that it's probably easier to pull back out of being stuck than like push through a hole that's too small. Mm -hmm. John Navarro, extend a hand. Nice, right. it's pull. It's pull. Right. One person per hand. Pull and pull. <laughs> you pull mightily. No. She's, uh, she's still hurt. Come on, guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look at those. Even like the disadvantage advantage rolls are shit. You, I know. you get, you get loose with a sort of plopping, scraping sound. River plops loose from it. Uh, but you do take a D4 damage from the manhandling you were just through here. Okay. Two damage. I rolled two fours. <laughs> well, uh, seeing as that doesn't work... He'll look at the the crack. Be a little annoyed now. So instead, he'll stick his hand into his pouch and uh, and pull out a flask of oil and his tinder box. Think that that's at least a way to get whatever is in there and and make it awake. Uh, hey, Varus, lighting out fire is a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> He's done this before plenty. It, it scares away lots of wild animals and such. Fire. And uh, what you can do with an oil flask is that you can, as an action, you can either throw it at a creature within 20 feet, or you can like like splash it splash it at the ground to cover like a, a five feet area, and then then light it a fire, light it, basically put fire on there. Mm -hmm. 
uh, does he think that he could like from here like chuck it enough in that direction could he like stick a hand in and chuck it that direction enough that he might actually be able to hit whatever snoring hmm uh probably not the snoring thing seems to be often a little bit further away in the distance from what he saw when he sort of clambered through it seems that the cave is also fairly big on the other side okay 